Hey there one and all, this is NDM here, welcoming you back to another episode of Let's Play Metroid 2 Return of Samus for Game Boy. In the last episode, we've, we got to that Metroid behind the wall, and I have figured out how you do it, okay? And it is probably the most easiest, most stupidest thing in the history of the world. It, I'm not even kidding you, it's so damn easy to get this Metroid. Um, you know there's that egg in the hallway? Well, what are you supposed to do with that? You're supposed to turn into a morph ball and then roll into it and then it drops you down into a little secret passageway and that's where it takes you to the Metroid so that's exactly what we're gonna do now and there is also another energy tank I can get um, you know there's that area that I thought that was dead end because there was you know there was that room well that hallway with the water that was shooting out of taps and I tried to avoid them by going in a spider wall going up the roof and finding out if there are hidden passageways well it turns out that there is but it's right at the end of the hallway and you have to go up the wall and then on the top corner of the wall on the roof there is a secret passageway that you have to use your spider ball to get to and then you bomb it out and then it takes you to a gigantic room um, with a metroid in it and it's got an energy tank in there so once i've got this metroid in here I'm going to make a cut and then I'll meet you guys in that area because there's just no point in me traveling all the way back there on the screen because that will take up most of the video and that's not going to be ma that's not going to make a very interesting video considering we're on 18 Metroids right now I think after we killed these last remaining ones we will be heading over to the last area so I might as well just okay dude let me just get rid of this first let me get rid of all this crap So I'm gonna get a clear shot on you. No, why did I do that? Okay, yeah, keep shooting. Yeah, just like that. Ah, damn it. Huh. Yeah, those Metroids are really tough to kill. Takes so much damage away from you. All right, so I'm gonna make a cut and I'll see you guys in the area that I was telling you about where we can find ourselves another energy tank and a Metroid. So until then, um, oh well, yeah, I'll see you then. Why was I about to say an outro? I don't know. <laughs> okay, yeah, whatever. I'll see you then. Ugh. Okay, guys. <laughs> I am back. And I lost uh, quite a lot of missiles um, trying to get through there. And I had a little bit of trouble with the uh, space jump. Alright, so if you remember this room right here, there's this, all this sand in here. And this is where we found ourselves in a uh, missile expansion. Alright, so we're supposed to head over in this area. And, um... I'll show you where it is. It's a dead end. In a room with a bunch of spikes in it. And I think it's on this... Oh my god. Ugh. Yeah, this would happen. Great. I'm gonna get the health pick up. See, that's ridiculous the amount of health those things take away. And now we have to go through this hallway again. Yeah, the fun and joy of going through this room. I can't seem to double jump now. See, this was the trouble I was having earlier on, trying to get more than two jumps on this thing. I always find these hallways so claustrophobic, especially if there are a lot of enemies in here, and trust me, those things you do not want to get hit by because the amount of energy they take away from you is ridiculous. Okay, can you... I don't want to spend like 10 minutes trying to get through this part, I really don't. <laughs> Because if I have to, then Jesus Christ. Oh, thank God. Right, okay. Yeah, it's in here, I think. So we drop all the way down here. And then there'll be all the sand, so we have to shoot all this out, which will take us to another area. And I think we fought a Metroid in one of these rooms as well. Previously. Yeah, I don't really want missiles. Health would be good, but... Yeah, because you can get an easy missile refill in this area. Um, you know where all that sand is at the beginning? Um, you can shoot all that out and then there's a missile refill in that giant room. Right, so this is it right here. Uh, I just want to get through this without taking a hit on those spikes, though. See, ugh. Getting through here, you need good momentum with this. Space jump. And... I am not the one for that. Yeah, hang on a second. Okay, I don't trust myself enough to get through this without dying, so 
I made a save state just in case I do because I need to literally precise this jump so well okay get the yeah there we go oh damn it <laughs> I thought I was gonna screw that up I almost did but luckily I didn't all right so it's this part of the hallway right here now you can see that there's a dead end but in fact if you go up here there's a secret passageway and you bomb this out and it turns out there is something in the wall that takes you to another secret area and this right here is where we will find our fourth energy tank and a metroid which i forgot about <laughs> i was too preoccupied on getting the energy tank but i believe this is the last metroid i believe because i believe i can fly okay i'm no this isn't a singing episode yes we have oh that is the last metroid we needed to kill and we have indeed shrunk the lava even more and the game has froze wait is that supposed to happen okay I thought the game literally froze. I thought the emulator was going to crash or something. Um, but no, I think the lava was shrinking and then it initiated me picking up the energy tank. Alright, so believe it or not, that is not the last energy tank of the game. There are five in total. Um, so now all we got to do is just get the hell out of here. Huh. And I am glad to say that we are finally done with this area because this has been one long actual... Um, place to explore because there were so many hallways and so many metroids to kill so many pickups to collect and uh, yeah in the end it, like I think we spent like five episodes in this area I think so whereas all the others have been like three episodes I think Uh, I'm not sure if the next area we're going to is going to be the last area of the game. I'm not sure on that. Maybe. Now I'm going to get rid of the spacer and I'm going to replace it with the plasma beam. So we're going to go ahead and grab that. Because I think this, I think the plasma beam is probably the most powerful weapon in the game. So it's best that we have the better equipment to take on the next area because I don't know what it's going to be like <laughs> so we'll go ahead and grab that plasma beam sweet even though the space is splits into three different um, shots it's better if you have the plasma beam because it's much more powerful and it's a longer range weapon too but when we do come up to the final area, we will need to go back and get the ice beam because as in Metroid 1 um, on the NES, you had to use the ice beam to get rid of the Metroids. Well, there are actual Metroids in this game apparently, so huh, I will need to get the ice beam for the final area. So if we actually have real Metroids in this game, then what are the things we're, at, we're killing at the moment? Because the Metroids in the final area actually look like real Metroids. <laughs> Whereas the things that we've been killing so far on the game have just been... I don't know. And I fell all the way down, which is not what I wanted to do. Oh, great. fan freaking fantastic Okay, I'm making a save state here. Screw it. Alright. Let's go for it. Oh, dude. Ah, oh, I could have killed that bubblegum dispenser if I had... Ah, oh, dude. See, you need... Urgh, these things are so annoying. Probably the most annoyingest enemies in Metroid. Thank God, right, okay, we made it in one piece. Now I can save. And we can haul ass and get the hell out of here. Huh. What what did I just do? 
I just pressed something. Hang on a sec. Wait. No, never mind. It's gone. Okay. <laughs> I just pressed the button that initiated the brightness, and uh, I don't want my brightness level changed. It's perfectly fine the way it is. I don't want it to be too dark. I mean, this game is black and white enough as it is. <laughs> don't want it to get any more darker. Alright, Plasma Veen doesn't kill those, so it's just the same as the Spazer. In fact, I don't think any weapon can kill those. They seem indestructible. What the hell? Huh. I don't know what the... I don't know what's up with that. Okay, we don't need... Oh, I'm here, aren't I? Yeah, this way you get space jump. Okay. Just get my bearings here so I know exactly where I am and where I need to go. Well, I know where I need to go. It's just that this place all looks the same. <laughs> We need to get to the main area where the lava is and go down to the next part of the game. Alright, okay. Yeah, don't need to use your spider ball here, just use your space jump. Gets you up there quicker. The space jump in this game kind of makes the spider ball obsolete in some occasions, because the spider ball helps you get up to high areas, but the space jump helps you get up to higher areas, but a lot quicker. But if you want to find hidden areas on the wall, you will have to use your spider ball. It, especially if they're elevated in a high area, like you have to get up really high to get to them. You have to use your spider ball. So I guess in a way it does kind of make it obsolete, but you still have to use the spider ball in some occasions to get hidden items and things. Okay, that's lava. Don't want to touch that. Huh. I thought we shrunk the lava. Why is it still here? Or have we actually shrunk it? I don't know. Well, there was a, definitely a massive earthquake, so we must have done something right. Maybe it's just this area, I don't know. Because this right here is the entrance to the complex. Yeah, it definitely has shrunk. That's strange. Like, it didn't shrink in the entrance to the other area, but it's shrunk here. That's for definite. Huh. Alright, now that's all lava, and there's a secret passage here. Because that... Hang on, let me try bomb this, because that monster was going straight through the wall there. So... That looks very suspicious to me. Yeah. Unless I was just seeing... <coughs> <coughs> what the hell? What the hell just happened? <coughs> <coughs> oh my god. Oh. God, what the hell just happened there? <laughs> that was so random. Oh, dude. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, I'm in pain. Oh, I'm in pain. <laughs> oh, shit. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, damn it. <laughs> what the hell just happened there? Yeah, <laughs> as I was saying, <laughs> um, I must have been seeing things. Yeah. <laughs> God, I had a cough attack and then it messed up my gut. I was having really weird pains and I just had to clench it really tight. <laughs> I, am, I apologize for that, guys. I'm really sorry. Okay. What are these? Octopus things? Gigantic, um, Admiral Akbars? <laughs> I don't know. Strange looking enemies. Oh, this is a strange game with strange music. Oh, dude. Calm, calm it, calm it. Yeah, there's a lot of good energy we get in here from these. Not like t 
tiny farty energy that you get from small enemies that you find scattered all about all over the place at the beginning of the game. So now we're getting into the big, the big stuff. Oh, that's a long hallway to the next, to the next place. I wonder what secrets are in store for us here in this area. I don't know even if we're there yet because the music hasn't changed and it's like the music you would hear if you were building up to the next part of the game but so far we haven't gotten anywhere to epic music. All you can probably hear right now is just Samus jumping, Samus running, and Samus shooting. And on the odd occasion, Samus getting hit. Huh. I say the word odd occasion very loosely. The words odd occasion. Very loosely. Oh, Metroid. Okay, maybe this is the music for the whole area, I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just going to stand here, because the Metroid can't seem to get me, and I can just camp and shoot my missiles. Yeah, that was easy as hell, what the... What on earth was that? <laughs> that Metroid didn't really put on much of a fight now, did it? And the lava shrunk again? No way! No way has the lava shrunk again, you got to be kidding me! That was easy as hell, uh, you, you got to be... No! No, one Metroid! One Metroid. Okay, well that wasn't... M I was expecting like a huge complex or something, but no, there was just one Metroid. Alright, and it was an easy one too. Okay, I'll take your word for it. <laughs> do, 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 do. I guess it was just like a miniature area, you know. Whether there was anything in there, there might be a missile expansion or something, but if there is, then I'll um, come back here in the next episode and say, you know, remember that one area where there was only one Metroid and the lava shrunk to the next area huh. so quickly? Ah, oh, damn it. Remember you'd have those rooms in Metroid on NES where there was lava and there was all these side hoppers flying around the room and you were jumping on platforms that looked like sweets. Like those chewy um, pear drops or whatever they are, the pear drops. Green pear drops. Huh. So has the lava actually shrunk or am I just being stupid here? Yeah, the lava hasn't shrunk. So what exactly did I do? I don't know, I must have done something. Because there was a massive fissure. Well... I can go back and see, but if I don't find anything, then I'm gonna have to cut it off and, uh... Meet you guys in the next video. By the way, I'm only gonna get one episode of Pokemon recorded a day. Um, we'll get, I reckon we'll get about halfway through Mount Freeze, because I don't know how big that dungeon is, um, I think it's around about 20, no it's not, it's not in the 20s, that's for definite, uh, it should be around about maybe 10 floors long, 15, I honestly can't remember because Mount Freeze is a dungeon that I'm very unfamiliar with. Because when I played Red Rescue Team on Game Boy, the only time I went in there was for doing the story. I never went in there to do missions or anything. <laughs> or to even recruit Pokemon, I don't think. Because there were dungeons, other dungeons that provided Pokemon. Um, in the, like, provided the same Pokemon that were in Mount Freeze in other dungeons. So you could recruit those Pokemon in other dungeons that were in Mount Freeze. If that makes any sense.
any sense. Huh. Wow. My throat really screwed me up, huh? And I don't even smoke, so... And that is the truth, I'm being dead honest with you there. I do not smoke. That was just a random thing that happened. I don't even understand myself why that happened. That's why I sounded so shocked. It just appears to me to be a dead end. What the hell? It's like this, unless there's like a secret passage on the roof, maybe. You know, somewhere up here. Maybe. Boom, boom, boom. Wow, this ain't very good commentary. What the hell is going on here? Well, there's nothing really to commentate on, is there? <laughs> I mean, I can't find anything to commentate on. There's no, like, at the moment, anyway, because we're at a dead stop here. And back at the main overworld, there is still lava. And there was a fissure, so I don't know what that has actually triggered. So it's obviously triggered something, otherwise it wouldn't happen, right? Huh. So we just need to look for something that didn't look the same when we came in here. And to be honest with you, I do not see anything that has changed at all. Hmm. Let's try to bomb this out. This looks very strange. Having that in the middle of here. Yeah, you know what? I think I will end off the episode here and we'll continue on the next episode. So, in the next episode of Let's Play Metroid 2 Return of Samus, we shall find out what all this dead-end business is going on here, because we killed a Metroid, we created another fissure. What's happened? I don't know. Let's find out in the next episode. <laughs> so, until then, this is NDM saying thanks for watching. Take care, everybody. See you on the next video, and goodbye.